This webinar will provide general guidance on the setup of high pot testing equipment and the use of the high pot testing equipment on RVs. Here is an example of two commonly used high pot testers. High pot testing is required by the National Electric Code on all RVs manufactured. Carefully inspect your new or used high pot tester to make it sure it has the proper power cable and test leads that you will need. On this tester manufactured by Slaughter, there will be a small shunt inside of a Ziploc bag. This shunt must be installed in order for this tester to work without a remote control. Inspect your test leads and then install them into the front of the high pot tester. This test plug can be used with the primary power cord on the RV. If a fault is found, then the test leads will need to be used in order to isolate the individual sections of the unit. On the back of this compliance west, there are knobs for making the adjustments. These adjustments allow you to set the ramp, the dwell, and the leakage units as measured in milliamps. On the front of the slaughter unit, a large yellow knob can be pushed to click and rotated to work your way through the settings and to make the adjustments that are needed. This slaughter unit also has a security setting. This prevents non-authorized individuals from changing the voltage, the ramp, the dwell, or the leakage. A high pot tester can use either AC voltage or DC voltage to test the wiring system of the RV. DC voltage allows the operator to test through ground fault interrupters and switches, as well as not having to disconnect the appliances. An AC voltage tester that tests the electrical system of the RV will require the disconnection of GFCIs and also the disconnection of AC appliances. Whether using AC or DC test voltage, only test between the hot in the ground and the neutral in the ground. Do not test between the hot and the neutral, otherwise the test will always fail. Here, the test equipment is set on memory one with a one second dwell at 1530 volts DC, a three milliamp leakage setting and a three second ramp time from zero volts DC to 1530 volts DC has been set. The test equipment display will then indicate a pass. The high pot test must be performed at a minimum of 900 volts AC for one minute, 1080 volts AC for one second, or 1530 volts DC for one second. Always announce the high pot test and clear any other personnel from the unit to be tested. Here, the test indicates a fault occurring at 710 volts DC in 1.4 seconds and with a leakage greater than 5 milliamps. The amount of voltage required to indicate the fault will help the operator to determine the size of the fault. A fault at a lower voltage means a larger compromise. A fault occurring at higher voltage means a smaller compromise to the electrical system. When an RV has a generator, a generator prep, a transfer switch, or a manual plug for the generator, these circuits must also be tested individually. Wiring must be disconnected from the transfer switch, otherwise the switch will cause the test to fail. If a high pot test fails through the primary power cord with all of the circuits on, then the operator must go in, isolate each individual branch circuit and test them to locate the fault. 
Some manufacturers of smaller units, such as truck campers and Class B motorhomes, have figured out that they can backfeed the individual branch circuits up to the distribution panel. This is not a common use, but it is seen. When using larger appliances, such as electric ovens, dryers, etc., the bonding strap between the neutral and ground must be removed, otherwise a fault will occur. Take the time to learn your testing equipment and how to use it properly. This will protect your fellow workers and our customers. Thank you.